But now I'm trying to break through. They say my name and they say who? And I ain't talking Mike Jones. You know I gotta stay true. Like Christ, nigga, hey Zeus. But I ain't trying to write wrongs. Like the curve you. Knock it out the park like Babe Ruth. Everybody run home. Me and the devil share the same stew. Cause when I leave, it's a flame booth. Every time the mic on. Now ain't nobody gonna fight my battle. That's why I stay loaded with a lot of ammo. Bullets with the slingshots, with the bow and arrows. I'm writing rhymes while I'm eating at a cracker barrel. I'm well aware of snake hits and the snake rattle. Was afraid to make hits till I got tackled. Yeah, life hit me hard when I became an adult. I'm in it with my bare ass with a wooden paddle. But I'm so glad to be alive so I can strive for perfection like Shipley. Thank you for having me in your space. Um, and welcome to the show. This place is... This place is... <laughs> fucking awesome i absolutely love it this is like all your artwork do you sell any um so i have five other guest artists in here oh uh, you do yep yep uh, uh, most of everything on this wall is mine um that is a wonderful artist here in austin right behind that big uh, canvas right there oh, that's uh, awesome. and then most of the stuff on this wall is other artists uh, except for a couple pieces of mine these are guest artists here um, we have some guest artists on the back wall yeah, but it, it ranges, yeah. <laughs> I it's love actual it. actual gallery. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. Well, first, introduce yourself. Tell me your name. And also, tell me a little bit about this space as well. I'm super excited to hear more about it um, and your, your business as well. Are you running this by yourself? Yes. Ho holy crap. <laughs> also custom framing. I do custom framing in the back. Wow. Yeah. Absolute beast. That's amazing. <laughs> Incredible. I, yeah, I, 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 we're scaling it right now and, and I'm going to hire some help, which is it's a good problem because it's, it's busy. It's become something that's a part of the community now and, and you know, I can't do it all by myself anymore. You know, we have to, we have to grow. <laughs> that's absolutely incredible. I, that's one of the desires of my heart too. Like ever since I, I got picked up by an excellent photographer in Los Angeles actually back in 2008, 2009. Really good fashion photographer, really good wedding photographer. Okay. Took me under his wing and taught me essentially everything I know. Um, but that, that part of it where you get to take care of people and bring them along the way, that's deep in my heart. Yeah. It's really rewarding. 100%. And, and it's, I can't wait to be able to give that knowledge and have like interns and people on me and, and help them not go through the, uh, the hard transitions of being an artist or just trying to be a successful artist in this world, you know, mm. you can help them streamline that process. It's absolutely amazing. Well. This is a good segue. Let's uh, let's talk a little bit about the show that's coming up, the Latino Art Weekend. Yeah. Um, yeah. Tell me about that. Yeah. So uh, I was fortunate enough to be a part of Black Art Weekend here in Austin, and met the organizers. They have an amazing team um, of color at their Instagram, um, and they also throw Latino Art Weekend. And then they found out that I had this gallery here, and it's the only Black-owned gallery in the city. And they were like, "We need to use your gallery as part of our weekends." So. Uh, they met with me about Latino Art Weekend, and we made it happen. So all of the art is going to come down for one weekend, and it'll be all Latino artists from Florida, Florida to top. We're gonna have a stage outside. There will be all Latino musicians playing. Uh, Friday night, we'll have an all Latino comedy show. Uh, it's just gonna be a celebration for all Latino culture here in the city, so. That's absolutely amazing, like, that you're able to give back like that, and that this has been so successful in that regard too. We were actually chatting off camera, just so everyone knows. This is the only black owned gallery in Austin, Texas, right? Yeah. And right, you got- Right now it's the only black owned gallery in Texas. Uh, they are opening one in San Antonio, which would make it three black owned galleries in Texas, I believe, one in Houston, one in Austin, one in San Antonio. Um, 
which we need more, you know. So yeah, there's a huge responsibility that comes with that. Yeah. Yeah, how's that how's that feel with that that weight on you described it as a responsibility on your shoulders. Yeah. What does that feel like? Well, it, it, it really hit me by surprise um, when I first opened this place. It was just off individual artistic aspirations. I, I wanted a gallery. I wanted a space to host music events, um, things like that. And as it opened and you meet more uh, affluent people in the art community and things like that, and they start to bring up, I think you're the only black owned gallery in the city, and you start to do research and you find out you are the only one. One, because you, you just assume that there's going to be another one somewhere. Yeah. You know, you, you don't think that you're going to be the only one this, you know, in 2020, 2021. And so it, it immediately changed my outlook on being an artist, almost immediately. It went from my individual uh, artistic goals to I didn't have a responsibility to the community. I have a responsibility to put black art as a face here in Austin, um, especially the east side, of, you know, is built up from minorities. America was, you know, built from all different types of races, and the art should be in the forefront as long as everything else. So, incredible. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> So there's actually a documentary coming out about you as well. Like, tell us about that. It's amazing. So I got really fortunate. Uh, in one of the artistic groups here, or Facebook groups here in the city, mm. uh, a videographer by the name of Eric Ken posted up that he wanted to do some art documentaries and things like that. He's like, submit your resumes and things like that. So I submit that I own, you know, the only black owned gallery. Uh, just opened it up on East, East 6 and things like that. And he immediately came right over, we did the interview process, and we started to do the documentary. Um, and as we got into the into the story, I, I didn't realize it was a big thing, but I, um, I recently transitioned from playing professional football to the art world. Uh, I retired in 2018, I played in Europe for like six years. Uh, mm -hmm. And it was, kind of helped me branch, start my art career, because I started selling art during those seasons over there in Europe. And when I came back here, I realized it could be a thing. So yeah, I decided to do a documentary. We've been shooting B-roll and, and all kinds of things like that. We're gonna submit it to the film festival and we'll see where it goes. <laughs> oh, I love it, that's so cool. Um, there's something that's also, because your art's so unique, I wanted to ask about your influences and also your heroes within your art. Do you have any uh, artists that you really look up to? Yeah, um, the first one, uh, when I was younger, I have two older cousins that are amazing artists. And I wanted to be able to draw like them so bad when I was younger. Dang. And it just, I have, a, I have a natural ambition to just keep working at whatever I'm going for in this world. And I would just not stop draw when I was younger, just trying to chase how good they were. Um, and I was fortunate enough to take an art class uh, my senior year in high school from my favorite artist, Leon Kwan Zen, he's a Chinese watercolor artist, and phenomenal. And that's what brought me into the watercolor world. So those are my two huge influences when it comes to like art that I actually, artists that I look up to. And uh, I would say the biggest push for my art in life would be my mom. She's a, she loves art and like most of my Christmas gifts and birthday presents when I was younger was art supplies. <laughs> so I could paint her pictures, but yeah. Dang, shout out to moms. My mom's incredible, <laughs> an incredible, I've actually just found out how much, I thought she was incredible before. Yeah. And you know, we're, um, I found out more details about what she went through uh, through her entire life. And she's just an incredible woman. So shout out to mums. Oh, wow. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely amazing. Um, the, the other question that I'd like to ask, and this is kind of an insight for your fans. What do you like doing that's outside of your, your I know you're busy. Like, this is amazing that you've been able to do this. But do you have hobbies that are outside of your creativity? Um, yeah, football. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. I, uh, it, it was a weird transition because I always thought football was the biggest love of my life my entire life. I identified football as a football player my entire life. And it 
wasn't until recently uh, that I realized the roles really should have been switched. Yeah. That football wasn't the love of my life and art was my hobby my whole life. It was actually reversed. And art is what I love doing. It's what makes me the most happy. And football is my hobby. Oh, amazing. But with that being said, I can't fully just give myself to the art world. I have to stay in the competitive realm. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I still play competitive play football and dodgeball leagues and basketball, whatever I can do to stay in that world. <laughs> It's amazing. Maybe that's where some of your competitiveness and your discipline comes from, yeah. I would suppose. Yeah, 100%. It's amazing. So good. So where can people find you online? Where can people buy your art? Um, what's the location of the studio? Yeah. So obviously the best place to buy anything, which is art, is... Uh, I look right at the camera. So that's fine. <laughs> that's totally fine. You can talk to them. <laughs> it's totally fine. <laughs> Here yep. on 6th Street, yep. East 6th Street, uh, in Texas. 511 yep. East 6th Street, Austin, Texas. Yep. Uh, Rich's Art Gallery and Studios. Book some classes, uh, come to some events, some jazz nights, you know, come experience the space. Uh, I also have several different online platforms. Mm -hmm. So I sell clothes on Etsy, Rich's Art, uh, and I uh, sell online on my website, richesart.com. Um, get prints. So cool, so cool. Well, look, it's been an honor. Thank you so much for inviting me here. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Um, yeah, for everyone out there, make sure you check out uh, the art and buy some stuff. Right. So <laughs> good. Support local. Support local. That's uh, Yep, definitely. Support local. Thanks for tuning in.